हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू जीरो सिक्स स्टडी पॉइंट सो आपका पहला क्वेश्चन है दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट हैज अलाउड द ट्रांसजेंडर टू फाइल सेक्सुअल हरिसमेंट केस हरिसमेंट केस अंडर विच सेक्शन सो इसका आंसर है आपका ऑप्शन डी एक्सप्लेनेशन दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट हैज अलाउड द सेक्शन थ्री ए ऑफ इंडियन पैनल कोड आई कैन बी यूज बाय ट्रांसजेंडर टू रजिस्टर कंप्लेन्ट्स ऑफ सेक्शुअल हैरेसमेंट According to the police, there was a lack of an appropriate panel section under which they could register such a complaint. Next question, hai guys. Which union minister launched Ujjwal Sanitary Napkins Scheme in Odisha? So, your options are. So, correct answer is my. Your option D. Answer is D. And that is Sri Dharmendra Pradhan. So, is my. Your answer is. Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmendra Pradhan launched Ujjwal Sanitary Napkins Initiative saying it will go a long way in making Odisha 2.5 crore women empowered and self-reliant under the novel initiative which will cover 93 blocks in 30 districts of Odisha oil marketing companies OMC will set up 100 manufacturing units at the common service centers CCS CSC at the estimated cost of 2.94 crore ठीक है गाइस नेक्स्ट आप क्वेश्चन आपका डीआरडीओ डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ये तो पता ही होगा आपको सो इट्स आंसर इज बी एक्सप्लेनेशन डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डीआरडीओ ऑब्जर्व डीआरडीओ डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी द डीआरडीओ वाज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन 1958 विथ जस्ट टेन लेबोरेटरीज टू एनहेंस द रिसर्च वर्क इन डिफेंस सेक्टर डॉक्टर जी सतीश रेड्डी इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ डी DRDO works under the Department of Defi Defense Research and Development of Ministry of Defense. Next question is German approves UST 8 billion rail and road tunnel link to which of the following country? So option are these and answer is C. German authorities gave their appro gave their approval to US 8 billion 6.3 billion pounds rail and road tunnel linking denmark and germany despite environmental objections it is a part funded by european union that 19 km 11.8 mile friend fell marbel link uh, connecting the uh, danish land and lowland to the island Fa fairman on the german side was due to completed in 2024 next is jer bolsonaro was sworn in as the president of which country recently so its answer is option c and c is brazil theek hai guys to iska aapka explanation diya hua hai jail bar jail bar sonaro was sworn as the brazil president in the ceremony at brazil national congress building bol bolson aro is the former army captain and admirer of the country 1964 and to 1985 military dictatorship bol so naro 63 was a seven term french congressman who rode a wave of anti establishment establishment anger to become brazil first fire far right president since a military dictatorship gave to civilian civilian rule three decades ago next is who is the head of the government committee that suggested ai cte to stop setting up new engineering colleges from 2020 so its answer is ऑप्शन डी एंड डी इज बी वी आर मोहन रेड्डी सो ए गवर्नमेंट कमेटी हैडेड बाय आई आई टी हैदराबाद चेयरमैन बी वी आर मोहन रेड्डी हैज एडवाइज ऑल ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन ए आई सी टी टू स्टॉप सेटिंग अप न्यू कॉलेज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड रिव्यू द क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू कैपेसिटी एवरी टू ईयर्स आफ्टर दैट द पैनल हैज ऑल्सो सजेस्टेड दैन नो एडिशनल सीट शुड भी अप्रूव इन दटिशनल इंजीनियरिंग एरिया सच एस मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल सिविल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड दैट इंस्टीट्यूट शुड भी encourage to convert current capacities in traditional disciplines to emerging new technologies the recommendation has been justified in the ground current capacity utilization of traditional disciplines is just 40% as opposed to 60% seat occupancy in branches such as computer science and engineering and aerospace and mechatronics for the some reason the committee has urged the aicte to introduced an undergraduate engineering program exec excessively for artificial artificial intelligences blockchain robotics quantum computing data science cyber security and 3d printing and design next is how many new information commissioners are appointed by ramnath kovin option is 7543 so answer is c and that is 
Sudhir Bhargava, an information commissioner in the Central Information Commission as the new chief chief information commissioner. The government also appointed for new information commissioner. President Ramnath Kovin has approved the appointment of former bureaucrats Yash Vardhan, Kumar Sinha, Yan ja, Yanaja, Yanaja as Sarna, Neeraj Kumar Gupta and Suresh Chandra as the new information commissioner. The appointments came week after the Supreme Court asked the center to disclose the process of appointment of the new member of Central Information Commission including details on applicants and research committees. Next guys, apka. name the cricketer who became the highest international wicket taker across the format in 2018 and the answer is option is B and that is Jaspreet Bumrah. Option B, Jaspreet Bumrah, a 25-year-old bowler, Jaspreet Bumrah became the highest international wicket taker across format in 2018. He took a total of 78 wickets in the calendar year. He led the Indian cricket team to historic victory of Boxing Day Test at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Bumrah surpassed South Africa, Kegso Rabada's tally of 77 wickets to reach the milestone, while the third position of Bumrah countryman Kuldeep Yadav took. 76 scalps. Ninth, ninth question is Center has given an extension of six months to complete the outgoing exercise for updating the NCR in, and that is option A, Assam. Okay, guys, explanation apka. The center gave an extension of six months to complete the ongoing exercise for updating the National Register NC, NRC in Assam 30 June 2018 as the enumeration of citizens in the NCR. NRC cannot be completed with the earliest specified date of 31st December 2018. The, the Registrar General of India, Mr. Shalis, issued a notification that stated the central government considers an extension necessary in lieu of public interest to complete the update of National Register of Citizens. The first notification regarding the same was issued by the government on 6 December 2013 and had settled a deadline of three years to complete the entire process. But since then, five extensions have been given but the exercise had not been completed okay guys next question up which airline gets its first longer range a321 neo plane and the answer is option b and that is in indigo india's largest airline indigo has become the first domestic airline to have large longer range airbus a31 Neo, new engine option plane in its fleet with the first aircraft arriving from the European Aviation Major Airbus Hamburg facility in Germany. This is the part of its 150 aircraft order in new aircraft. The new aircraft will help the Rahul Bhatia led airline to fly to Europe and at destination in Asia. Indigo now has 204 planes in its fleet, including one A321 Neo. 65 A321 OS, 126 A320 EOS, current engine option, and 12 ATRs. Indigo at present operates over 100, 1300 daily flights of 52 domestic and 50 inter, 15 international destination. So that's it for today. Thank you guys. A subscribe kar bhi do. Agar a video chile to please like kar dije, share kar dije. और प्लीज चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए अगर अभी तक आपने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है सो थैंक यू सो मच और आपको 3 तारीख की वीडियो भी जल्दी ही मिल जाएगी